Hi, how are you? Yeah. So there's going to be a okay. big change in French, it looks like, from the season premiere. Later, we'll we do acknowledge uh, it. Super changes. We do yeah. acknowledge it. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting... <laughs> What can yeah, we expect we from the new season? And then we actually okay. turn it into an entire plot. Wow. Uh, well, first of all, just in terms of my character, you're going to see a lot more of me. <coughs> a lot more about me. You'll find out more about uh, my marriage, my, my ex-wife, and get to meet my ex-wife. Get to see some of the history of Fringe before Peter, Olivia, and Walter, and my relationship to Fringe, and Fringe's relationship to the government. And you're going to see a lot more interaction between the two universes in the upcoming conflict of the possible war. <laughs> So are we going to get any seriously OMG moments from the show this season? Like, I mean, oh, I think you'll see, you may get uh, some, at least one or two OMG moments in each episode. Yeah. So, you know, I know I've seen the first episode in there, that's why I know there are definitely a lot of fun changes coming up. Anything else you could tell us like from what's coming up? Uh, the Observer. Uh, you're going to find out a lot more about the Observer. Now, with everything that you went through last season, is it changing like just how you look at life, like just all the different mysteries that could be out there? Well, I'm not, I can't say that uh, the show has made me look at the world in a different way. But, uh, how do I put this? It's, some people might call me a conspiracy theorist. But uh, it's definitely validated for me some things that I was thinking. And it's and, and just a purely kind of hypothetical, it it's I'll just cool to contemplate the multi-universe and you know, kind of the nature of good and evil. So are you sitting there talking to the writers with some of your ideas to maybe have them write it into the show? <laughs> wow. Uh, I will say that it's been really, um, it's been really interesting having more of a collaborative uh, voice in the process than I've ever had in any other show. But it, that's really purely just when it comes in terms of my character and what kind of tracks, in terms of what I think, you know, what my, what I think my history is. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the new location like? Because you moved from New York to Vancouver. Yes, we moved uh, from New York to Vancouver. Vancouver's gorgeous. It's uh, very, very different from New York. And, um, uh, I mean, it's been great. See, I loved working in New York, but I love Vancouver, too. I, I, I've never worked there before. So being able to walk out of my door and turn to the left and see the ocean, turn to the right and see the mountains, is great. Yeah, almost like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what else do you have coming up? Uh, that's it. I'm working on uh, marking a CD that I finished a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me about your CD. It is uh, mostly jazz. It's, uh, you know, it's funny because I was a musician originally. I never, never thought I'd be doing this for a living. Uh, I came to acting much later. Uh, originally, I thought I was going to be a classical composer. That's what I went to college for. I went to conservatory. And uh, I started writing again about uh, six or seven years ago, mostly at the urgings of my daughter. And uh, what started as a songwriting demo kind of morphed into an album. Right. Very cool. And when, what's the name of it? It's called Remembrances and Contemplations. And or is it Contemplations and Remembrances? No, I can't remember. Okay, you'll remember it later and you'll contemplate yeah. the answer. <laughs> very cool. Thank you very, very much.